Around 350 Nigerians, most of them students, arrived at Abuja Airport on Wednesday, May 3, following the evacuation from war-torn Sudan. Many of the evacuees had spent days at the Sudan-Egypt border before finally making their journey out. One student said warring factions had even entered his school in Khartoum, a move that he says made him flee the country. The thing that is happening in Sudan now, we cannot call him as call it as a conflict or crisis. It's a war because we see a fighter jet, we see a bullet falling on our windows. They shoot our windows and they shoot uh, with rockers and tankers of ammo tankers enter our school. Now I know now they take control on our school. That is why we decided to plead. But we come to Buda and we be so far very well. We were in our house early in the morning on Saturday morning and I'm just hearing gunshots, which was very scary. It even shakes the houses, the vibration. You're hearing gunshots, you're hearing um, these missiles. It was very scary, it was traumatic. Abike Dabiri Erewa, the chairman of Nigerians in the Diaspora Commission. Erewa said there needed to be better coordination between eight agencies to help the returning Nigerians. So we're expecting that with the arrangements made by NEMA, it's going to be uh, more planes, not just one, two planes. Because Egypt makes it difficult. Egypt says if the number of people you brought is less than 200 and the aircraft uh, can only take 150, then nobody will leave. So they want you to pick the exact number of people that they are, you are bringing into the uh, border. So it's important that more planes, if four planes go at the same time, you bring everybody back. So NEMA has assured that they've done that, and um, you know, that's for Egypt. And the port should then be, um, they're trying to get tickets, because it's even more difficult to get flights to port to that, but they have an airline. So they're processing them now, get them tickets, and they come back home. And if other airlines get the landing permit, they will quickly go. So at least they're coming back home. And nobody will, will, we're glad nobody's life has been lost. And uh, priority was given to students, women, and children. So let's just set our eyes on Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.